Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your coach, Trev Buccieri here, and hope you're having a great day today. Um, I'm really amped because it's Nutrition Day, and we're going to take a little bit of a different approach today because today we're talking about getting in shape post-COVID-19. Because the great thing is that the light at the end of the tunnel is here. We can see the light. You know, things are going to start transitioning back to, um, you know, some sort of normalcy or the new normalcy is really the best way to say it. So, you know, what we're going to talk about today, again, is getting back in shape after that, because there's a lot of things that have happened over this time. And and really, many of us have have gotten better. Many of us have gotten worse, let's just say, in terms of um, our own conditioning from where we actually would like to be ideally. And that's just a fact, you know, and, and the whole like summation of this this um, session today is that's OK. It's OK. You know, whatever happened um, happened. All right. So we're going to go into step number one. Step number one is having patience with yourself, having patience with yourself. And that's exactly where I was going, because whatever happened, happened. And whatever you did to get through, you utilize as a strategy. If you if you used working out super hard at home and, and eating healthier and, hey, this is my time to do this and you utilized it that way, man, good for you. Good for you. You know, but at the same time, you were saying, man, I'm just mentally in a really rocky place and a hard place right now. And the only way I can get through, you know, literally in my life is to eat everything in, in sight. It's the only thing that's going to actually make me, you know, able to get through this. Well, good for you as well. You know, both situations deserve gratitude, you know, because of the fact that you're here, you made it through, you made it through, your strategy worked, whatever it may be. And patience for yourself, if it wasn't the exact strategy that you would have liked to do ideally. I think that's just number one, hands down. Because here's the deal, if we're hating on ourselves, there is no step two until we stop hating on ourselves. That's really it. Even if we actually start our progression of nutrition, exercise, those type of things, um, there really is not going to be the progression that there will be once the acceptance um, for whatever has happened in the past has been accepted and we move on that way. So that is number one. Number two is really just going to be about formulating a plan. Again, if you're planning to or failing to plan, you're planning to fail. So, you know, I attribute it to uh, the way that I used to be driving around, you know, without a GPS. Um, but uh, either way, the whole idea is circling all the way back. We need to have a plan. If we're failing to plan, we're planning to fail. So the plan really starts with what I suggest the most simplistic thing. And it really comes down to nutrition. Because nutrition is um, it's the key. It's 80% bar none, if not more, uh, you know, to, to the success. You know, working out is a, is a huge piece. It's a huge piece. It is. And of course, you know, we're never going to achieve the same conditioning. We're never going to be like, oh, wow, I have rock hard abs or whatever your goal is. I'm never going to be, you know, toned to that same level if exercise is not involved. The exercise is very complementary to nutrition um, as opposed to the other way around. Yes, you could say, of course, nutrition is complementary to exercise because if you're eating like garbage and you're exercising. Um, but what I'm saying is that the impact of nutrition um, on, on our conditioning and our shapes and, and, you know, from, for moving towards body transformation goals, the impact of nutrition is fourfold, fivefold, you know, it really, really is. So that's a great place to start. And there's two ways you can do this. You know, some people like to go cold Turkey, boom, I'm starting tomorrow. I'm going to hammer food today and, and tomorrow's the new day. Great. Be honest with yourself, you know, about, about how that's gone for you in the past. You know what I mean? If that works for you. Fantastic. You know, another way that I've seen work very, very well is by taking one to two things today. What one to two things am I going to do differently today that's going to be impacting that goal that I'd like to do for my nutrition? I'd like to be here for my nutrition, but I'm going to give myself about a week and a half to transition to it as opposed to be like tomorrow. Okay. So that's another way to do it. One to two things a day. And over a two week period, you've done 14, 14 things and you're maintaining those 14 things. And this is, you know, one thing might be, okay, I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink, you know, eight glasses of water, you know, a day. Great. That's one of the things. What else are you going to do starting tomorrow? I'm going to, uh, um, whatever, you know, I'm going to start food prepping. Okay. So even if you're prep, say if you're eating pizza for every single meal, well, even if you're prepping your pizza and you're getting that ready, that is a step. Okay. Because somewhere down the line, 
there's going to be, you know what, I'm going I'm to start looking at my food components and, and maybe looking at my proteins, my fats, and, and, and my carbohydrates and maybe start to make some different choices depending upon the goal. Again, we want to be um, you know, eating with intention. So that's really what we're going to be looking at here um, is, is looking at the intention of our goal. What do we want to be? You know, do we want to, I want to get toned. I want to lose 50 pounds or I want to build muscle. I want to do this. Okay. So that's our intention. Then we can structure our minds based upon eating with intention. Okay. So number three, um, is another part of having a plan, but it's also having a plan on exercise. So maybe you have, maybe you haven't exercised during this particular period of time, but I think we can all agree. Exercise is an absolute booster in every area of life. You know, quite frankly, if we're moving better, if we're, if our body's feeling better, if we're feeling stronger, we have more confidence. Uh, we actually have more just physical ability and everything is, is, is just ramped up from there. Everything improves. Everything improves. In fact, that's the concept of that book that I wrote, Fit Mind Plus Fit Body Equals Fit Life. If we have our mindset all squared away and we say, hey, I know this is important to me, you know, say my family is most important to me. And then we say plus fit body. Well, fit body, how does that relate? We say, okay, well, what's my goal? You know what? I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, for myself, I'd love to be uh, 214 and 10 percent body fat. That's where I'm looking to go. So the question is great. How does getting to 214 and 10 percent body fat benefit your relationship with your family? Because that's the most important thing to me. And then it gets to that, that whole ideal where now you get buy-in and you get worth, you get value to actually hit that goal because you know how it's going to impact what's most important to you, right? And then we can stay consistent on it. And then that's going to actually bleed into all other areas of life in the best of ways. So the whole idea is we're never going to be able to achieve you know, our potential or our full potential if we're not bringing exercise into play. So putting exercise into play is a plan. And again... You know, this can be, uh, you know, in a gym, this can be in home, whatever you are looking to do, whatever you're looking to do. But the whole idea is have a plan in action and then start at the time that your plan tells you to. OK, because here's the deal. If we make ourselves a promise and we say, you know what, I'm going to start on Monday and we don't, we're letting ourselves down. We're letting ourselves down first. And how are we able to or how are we going to be able to um, withhold our promises and withhold our standards and 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 consistency in our integrity over time with others if we're actually breaking all the promises with ourselves first. So how do we actually do that? Well, I couldn't control it. I just fell apart. Great. Well, we can start smaller. We can start with smaller expectations, smaller goals from ourselves. Let's just say your goal is to work out six days a week. That's what I'm doing right now, personally. And you say, you know what? I'm going to start off with three because week one, when I came back, I took off some time. Week one, when I came back, I only worked out three times. Then I worked out four the next week. Then I worked out five the next week and then six. And that was kind of my ramping period. Whereas before, back in the day, I would have said, I'm starting off six right away, you know, right away. Um, but I but I felt like this was a smarter approach, you know. So because it was also not not even from a sense where for me it was sustainable, but more I knew strategically my body's going to be a mess. I need that recovery time. I need that. So I'm going to take a little bit slower with that. And then once all, you know, it's going to almost enable me to get up to peak condition that much faster. And honestly, I really believe it has. I really believe it has. So put into plan or put into play a plan for your exercise as well. It's such an amazing compliment. You're going to get so far with nutrition and you're going to get so far. Like nutrition is going to bring you so far. And then you're going to say, man, I wonder if I started working out, what would that do? Now, not only for your body. But also for um, just your 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 mental, it's gonna it's just gonna do so much for your mentality, for your mindset. It really is, and that mind body connection, um, and really just the the simplicity of confidence. The simplicity of confidence in turn, it's like it's like the ultimate simplicity because it's so complex. But it's just confidence. It's confidence. You know, when we say, "Hey, you know what? I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I feel." Nine people out of 10, if not more than that, will then act that out. They'll act that out. They'll, they'll act out the fact that they don't look and feel how they want to. So that directly impacts them, you know, in, in all areas of life, you know, that, that, that ripple effect. <clears throat> well, now, what if you did, you know, uh, or, or, you know, look 
and feel how you wanted to, or not even that, but what if you were taking the actions to enable you to be able to look and feel how you'd like to do? Maybe you say, well, look, look and feel, look is vain. Well, the reality is, is that, you know, people like me, for example, if I'm, if I'm, you know, not in a certain condition, I will judge myself. I will have lack of patience with myself and my confidence will go down. It just will go down. And then I exude that. You know, so my my energy level, my vibration level, what I mean, not not just energy throughout the day, but what I'm able to give to people at that in that uh, position is just much less. It's much less than I'm able to when I'm on and I'm thriving. So there it is right there. Number one is patience. Number two is have a plan and play for your nutrition. Number three is have a plan and play for your exercise. And, you know, and again, circling back to that patience factor, take your time with this. If you got lost during this, no problem. You're still here. You had a strategy. You got through it. You're good. Now we've got all the time in the world to actually go where you want to go. Define where you'd like to go and start chipping away. It doesn't have to happen tomorrow because if we try to make it all happen tomorrow and we make errors, we are then going to be violating rule number one, which is having patience with ourselves and compassion and gratitude you know, for the strategy that we use that got us through. That's the reality of it. So I hope you enjoyed this perspective uh, today. And, you know, love to hear your, your comments on it. Um, anything I can do to help, here to serve, really cannot wait uh, to get, you know, our team back in and to to bring all of all of our VIPs and clients and challengers back in. I would love to have you come in if you if you're not associated with us yet and you haven't come in and and uh, and, and become part of our family. Um, so really looking forward to that. So hope you got a bunch out of this today. It's your coach Trev Bucheri here. You have an incredible rest of your day. Take care.